This video is another in our series on doing things with geometric algebra, and we are going to solve what is described as a hard vector problem by the channel Mind Your Decisions, which uploads problems which are quite challenging indeed. I will link this video by Mind Your Decisions in the description, and also because the video that we're doing here is intended mainly for beginners, I will provide a lot of details and also a link to an earlier uh, video of mine which will describe how to treat a problem such as this as an intersection of two lines problem. So the two lines here are OB and AN which we will intersect to find this point N. Mind your decisions did this by using coordinates, but we of course will use vectors. So how do we get started? Well, what we are asked to do is to find the ratio of the lengths ON and NB, knowing that M is the midpoint of side AB, and that the line from A to N divides the segment OM in the ratio 3 to 2. So to formulate this problem in geometric algebra terms, or really in just vector terms, period, what we will do is follow the example of mind your decisions and choose this point as our origin, and we will choose the two vectors A and B. According to the given information here, the point M is a midpoint of side AB, so in vector terms, the vector from the origin to that midpoint is a plus b over 2. What we will do here as our strategy is to determine what's, or what fraction this length is of this whole side here. Or in vector terms, we want to find out what scalar multiple this part is of the entire vector b. So also we can deduce from the given information that the point p here, or the vector from the origin to p, is three-fifths the length of m. Now at this point we could play around a little with vector algebra and express p in terms of a and b themselves, but instead we'll, we'll go along a little further here and then come back and do that to save a little bit of time and effort. Our next, our next step here is what we want to come up with is a vector triangle problem here where we know or where we're, where we're going to um, express this side as a, as a scalar multiple of the vector b and this side here as a scalar multiple of the vector p minus a. So what we'll do is write this side here as lambda b, which is a scalar times b, and this vector here is lambda ap, a scalar times p minus a. So now we can write our nice vector triangle equation. Lambda b here is also the sum of a and lambda ap times p minus a. How do we solve that to find lambda b? Well, from previous work, and again the video that I'll link in the upper, upper right hand corner again, what we want to do is find lambda b, so we want to eliminate this term. And the way that we do that is to take the, the outer product or wedge product of both sides with p minus a. We've done that here. And I won't go through all the details here, I'll, I'll make them visible so that you can work through them yourselves, but I, I, won't go into, I won't go into much of a description of them. Any vector wedged with itself is zero, so this equation simplifies to this one. Now is the time we're going to express the vector p minus a, which if we go back to this diagram and to this information we can come up with this expression for p minus a. 
if we substitute that in, or if we substitute this expression in this equation, we find b wedged with b is 0, a wedged with a is 0. We come up with this, and now we use the fact that the negative of b wedge a is a wedge b, and we come up with this equation. At this point, we can pretty well see that 7 tenths lambda b is 3 tenths. But to do this properly, what we would do is multiply both sides by the multiplicative inverse of a wedge b. That eliminates a wedge b on both sides, and then we do indeed come up with 7 tenths lambda b is 3 tenths, from which lambda b is 3 sevenths. Now going back to our original diagram here, if this length is 3 sevenths the vector b, it, that means that this has to be 4 sevenths, which means that the ratio that we seek is 3 to 4. I hope this video has been useful, and I hope you'll also consider joining the LinkedIn group Pre-University Geometric Algebra. And I will put the link for that group in the video description. Thank you for your time. I look forward to your, com to your comments.